This is an antibody modified conduit, or AMC. Essentially, it's a small tube with antibodies painted on the inner surface. As blood passes through, we can selectively filter any molecule of our choosing from the circulation. The catalyst for this device was a patient named Sarah. When I met her, she was four years old, and she presented with this rash. In just a matter of hours, all of her major organ systems were failing, and she was dying from septic shock. A major hallmark of septic shock is the Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, or SIRS. This simplified graphic demonstrates that the SIRS response is a dynamic cascade of rapidly changing cytokine expression over time. Initially, you have a pro-inflammatory burst with upregulation of inflammatory cytokines, followed by an immune suppressed state characterized by the expression of anti-inflammatory cytokines. Historically, people have tried to get control of the SIRS response through immune, immune modulatory methods, including monoclonal antibodies targeting individual players in this pathway, or blood filtering technologies. The advantage of antibodies is that they're selective, but their effect is prolonged, providing prolonged immune suppression. Blood filtering technologies can be turned on and off, but they're non-selective, removing things that are best left in the circulation. As the SIRS response was am amplifying in Sarah's body, her parents asked me, is she going to die? Sarah lived, but she lost her arms and legs to the disease. But she was lucky. Sepsis kills as many as one in four, and even more in severe cases like hers. It affects millions of people worldwide, and it's increasing in incidence. But let's take a step back. The real problem here is not sepsis, it's SIRS which is the underlying mechanism for a variety of diseases that we care for every day in the intensive care unit. It's hard to characterize the scope of SIRS, the burden on the healthcare system, but the three most common diseases alone impose greater than $17 billion burden. Our technology lies at the intersection of the apheresis market and the cytokine market, which represents a more than $90 billion market. But let's go back to Sarah. Despite this massive scope of problem, the mainstay of therapy consists of antibiotics and supportive care, and there's no effective way to mitigate the inflammatory response once it's started. That is until now. We've invented a technology that allows us to choose the inflammatory molecules in the circulation and take them out of the blood as the condition evolves, simply by changing the antibody that's present. AMCs are modular. They're easily inserted into existing platforms we use every day in the ICU. In this picture, it's ECMO, but it could be dialysis, apheresis, or any extracorporeal platform that we use every day. This is an example of selective filtration. Here we have a cytokine mixture of VEGF, the targeted cytokine, and interleukin-6, the control cytokine. And you can see that when it was filtered by an AMC designed to remove VEGF, VEGF disappears, but IL-6 remains in the circulation. And when we recover cytokines from the surface of the AMC, VEGF is what we recovered. And this validates the concept of selective filtration. But beyond that, we wanted to demonstrate that it's a platform that can be customized. It's customized simply by changing the antibody that's present on the surface of the AMC. So in the top graph, when we use bevacizumab, which targets VEGF, you can see by the green curve, VEGF disappears. But TNF-alpha is unaffected. When we switch the antibody to infliximab, which targets TNF-alpha, TNF-alpha disappears, but VEGF remains in the circulation. And this shows that the technology is customizable. It's a platform technology. More importantly, though, we need to demonstrate that it works in blood. And so we designed an in vitro system that mimics sepsis. We had a reservoir of blood to which cytokines were continuously added. And then they were either filtered with an AMC or with a blank tube. And you can see when a VEGF AMC was used, we maintained a basal value on the left of VEGF, but it, when it was a blank tube, it increased. We repeated the experiments with TNF-alpha and got a similar result, showing again this is broadly applicable. But the true test of this technology is that it prevents death. In rats that have elevated cytokine levels, when treated with AMCs, TNF-alpha levels remain at zero, and 100% of the animals survive an otherwise uniformly lethal disease. Our patented technology is poised to cure SIRS once and for all and improve outcomes for patients like Sarah all around the world. Thank you.